had a little girl in my classroom who was reading the lunch menu for the day. She was all excited that she could read the words. Um, she put her finger up to the menu and pointed to the syllables as she was saying, hamburger, french fry, and then she got to the word cat soup. Cat soup. Oh, Miss Britt, we're having cat soup for lunch today. It comes naturally for parents to help their kids develop all kinds of skills. Good. At least as important as learning to throw a ball is gaining the skill to turn a phrase Good. with words on a page. Reading experts say parents should create opportunities for their children to write. What does he call it when it's a grand slam? Grand salami. That's right. <laughs> Kids who write get the chance to sound out words and translate sounds into letters. Connor wrote a letter to Brett Boone today, who plays second base for the Mariners. He's a big baseball fan, big Mariners fan. It's just another opportunity for him to sit down and, and write something. If you think about it, writing is the encoding of speech to print. So as I spell the word uh, cat, I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm segmenting the sounds in speech, k at, and I'm writing them down. So you're actually going through the alphabetic principle. And your ability to do that uh, informs your reading, uh, which is a decoding of print to sound. So these two processes go hand in hand. We start reading in kindergarten and grade one, we should start writing just as soon. No, it's art it choke. Oh, I thought so it would be a vowel choke. next. What vowel do you think it is? I. That would be right. Having a child help make a shopping list is an easy way to practice spelling. What makes that ch sound? Ch like chewing? Ch CH. That's correct. Apples. Okay. A P P E L. I mean L L E. <laughs> he gets more confident every time he writes something. And he uh, pays very close attention to punctuation, uh, spelling. Uh, he'll ask if he needs to, uh, with some help on something. How's the letter going, Connor? Good. Writing is a lot more than spelling out words. It's the process of giving shape to ideas. As Connor composes a letter, he must think about his audience, in this case, his grandmother, as well as his reason for writing and just get the process of writing something, a beginning, a middle, and an end. It's something that we talk about, and uh, it's just good, good for his writing skills. Writing and reading reinforce each other. As children become better writers, they're probably going to read better, spell better, and think more clearly, too. Mm -hmm.